<laughs> That's fucking weird. What was that sound? The sound, sound of the demon awakening again. No. He's got it here. No. He's got no. it, bro. No. <laughs> Leave him alone. Now there's two of me. We're gonna beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> Please stop. I'm not drunk yet. You ain't gonna beat me, Ben. I mean, I'll be the last I'm not gonna wait anymore. for you to be drunk. You're stronger when you're drunk. And welcome back to our final video. Thank you, God. <laughs> the final video for our Dark Souls 2. Stop sharpening your fucking... Put it down! Fuck! Holy shit. Okay. We're redlining the fucking grass. To our final video for our Dark Souls 2 Ring of the Exalted run on New Game Plus 4. We just left. I um, I got to Majula and finally lit that bonfire. And we're running all the way to the fucking throne room to or to not sit on that bitch. You fucking decide. Let us know in the comments. Do you think I'll sit on the throne? Do you think I won't sit on the throne? You're what do you think about Ben's that. haircut? It's shit. It's haircut. garbage, and anyone that thinks otherwise should be shot. So sit down, grab your friends, grab your mom, grab Don't yourself. Don't spoil the ending. Grab a beer. Actually, no, the spoil the ending beer. is where it's like you sit down, and there's the TV right there on the chair, and he's like, oh, it's the, it's the fucking review, and he just they just walk away from the These chair. openings weren't supposed to take too damn long, man, but <laughs> thanks to you, they grab. take so much longer. Just grab so much fucking beer. <laughs> grab alcohol. We're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna get there. I, I never thought about it. It's really dumb that they have a beer opener on a keychain. When you think about the connotations of that, so many people must have died because you can put a beer opener on a keychain. Hopefully, I'm next. <laughs> oh shit! You fucking scared the hell out of me. You better <laughs> not be in the video. It's Jesus. totally in the video. You always ask for that. You always are like, that better not be in the video. That I am Ben Casuto. I am the editor of S Mistakes Were Made Gaming. I have made mistakes every day of my life. There is no one who knows more about mistakes than me. I'm pretty sure you have a YouTube, like, you know, account just for your personal YouTube viewing, Ben. And I'm pretty sure you're not subscribed to our own channel. I don't actually watch YouTube videos. I... Bullshit! You <laughs> lying <laughs> son of a bitch! I love YouTube. I fucking love it. It took me a long time to get onto the YouTube train. I in fact remember the one Jesus day- Christ. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. You can't stop me. You're gonna do it, you're gonna- Just like a bunch of homeless people beating the shit out of me with carcasses and a you're giant a pawn, dog. Almost reaching the end of the chessboard and all these fucking pawns won't get in my way. I still fucking killed them all. Yeah. Full fire drink stuff. You know, actually, I'd honestly, if I was on a chessboard, I'd be more afraid of just pawns lined up diagonally than I would be a <laughs> fucking a single rook or queen. There, there or should be shit. a there should be a meme where it's like um, a shitty aligning of like pawn pieces and be like <laughs> you, and then like goes to like another picture and it's like a fucking perfect alignment of chess of pawn pieces. You know, the perfect defense. And it would be like you shitty ch shitty pawns lined up. Versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. It's like perfect pawns. Oh, God. Chess memes. Mm. Fucking mm. how hard of a virgin can you be? I don't know. Let's ask Ben. Were you in chess club with us? Yeah, I was. Okay. I was yeah. better than you, but not better than Ethan. You weren't better than me either. Uh, no. Ethan. I was bored. I was first bored for like a week and that pissed off little... Was he Jewish? Who were we talking about? I don't know. Some other kid beat me, but he was like so pissed off. I'm pretty sure he was like telling his father to sue me. He's like some rich kid from the Middle East. Oh my god. Sorry about that. <laughs> Who is that? Who is this magical fairy that descends on your phone periodically? Yeah, who's trying to call me? It sorry, better not be that person looking for a ride again. A YouTube? No, I'm sorry, making a YouTube video. <laughs> it's actually a girl. She's like, oh, don't of course it's a girl. It sounded like a magical girl transformation. <laughs> so you text her like, I'm making a YouTube video. She's like, oh, don't call me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kill yourself. <laughs> oh. But seriously, can you imagine like instead of a ringtone, you just had a magical girl transformation based on who called you? Yeah, that'd be and pretty cool. You were just sitting there and it's like your phone rings. You just turn into, in the middle of like class, you just turn into like a fucking sailor scout looking person and you're like oh no it's my dead father <laughs> wait, wait, wait 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 how about how about like your wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. Fucking near Holy shit. Heads. shit. That rapier power is really fucking strong. Using a ra- I thought they are using a scimitar. No, that's a rapier. Did yeah. you just call it a scimitar? How else do you say it? Scimitar. That's stupid. You're stupid. What if I would have, like, rested right there? <laughs> At the end of this journey, like I bet some people are suspicious that that's gonna happen, that we're gonna waste everyone's time. That would we should have done that. That probably been the better. We we would have done that in uh. It's like those videos where it's a person drawing a perfect circle, and right when it's about to complete, they just scribble it. Those fucking demons! I swear to God, people that make videos like that should be just drawn in quarters. <laughs> I wonder why there's this little, like, aqueduct thing. Like, what is what is all that, you know? Uh, that, I imagine they just put... Well, I mean, look, if you look, there's the aqueduct right there. Yeah. They just walk through. I bet you eventually walk across that at some point. You I, don't. I, not in this game, no. No, no. Not in this game? No. This game shit? Is that what you're saying? Look, we're not doing Who this closed right this door again? It's the fucking... These assholes. I really, I really wish all of them are insane except one who's just fucked up and he's just like okay we're gonna go through the stage they all look like fucking the patches they really all kind of look a little bit like zombie patches uh, you know what honestly I, I now that I'm thinking about it it actually I fucking hate patches as a character <laughs> I love patches was he was there a character like him in Demon Souls oh yeah. yeah oh yeah you mean trusty patches he was in Demon Souls he was in Demon Souls he's uh-huh. been in every one of their games and then Dark Souls 2 is like no nah, we're not doing that hey, uh well pay pay Confirmed. Take his patches. No. Yeah. No. Fuck. Ugh, God damn it. Fuck that shit. I mean, like, there is. They, he's. They're both bald white dudes that you can't trust. Yep. Am I right, America? Bald white dudes don't trust them. I don't. I can honestly not think of a single bald white dude that isn't Charles Xavier, and I don't trust that fucker as far as I could throw him in his wheelchair. I don't trust him either. I don't trust bald people because I like hair. That's probably what's gonna happen to me when I get all I'm gonna get bald and I'm gonna fucking kill myself. You're gonna look in a mirror and you're like, that's what's I, gonna you, do it, that's what's gonna set you off. You'll wake up one day, you won't have hair, and you'll be like, time to die. Yep. <laughs> not the, uh, not the, uh, not the YouTube ch- Not the alcoholism or the YouTube channel. <laughs> <sighs> Should have brought more beer. I mean, I got it. Actually, when you think about it, Dark Souls is the ultimate in, like, bald people hate. Yeah, it really is. Name a single good bald person. Half the people you kill are bald. See if the scalus was definitely bald. <laughs> let's um let's let's talk about nice things. What? I like what? I I like that um, these guys have weapons that are just bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I I wish I could have had that weapon. Yeah, yeah. Just a weapon that was just uh, and it's great there's no you can see the string holding it all together that I mean that that I won't deny that that takes some dedication I don't like how they just kind of pull it out of nowhere I wish you could see it on their body like yeah. when, you, when you have a weapon sheath you can kind of see it on you mm-hmm. I don't think you actually you know I, I actually I like, like, I like the games ones that do that I actually like the ones in Blight Town a lot better where it's not just a body it's like a crucified body tied to a stick yeah Blight Town which, which who did those uh, uh, the the weird rat people, the infected dudes. Yeah, that those guys with the swollen bellies are based off the Detroit citizens. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> the yeah, start using Flint Mission. What is he doing? What was that guy doing? Yeah, Holy he shit! His head he, he was trying to look down the. Bro, he was he was trying to like snipe me off, like a skill shooter. It's like he bent his back fucking ninety degrees. <laughs> You know, actually, people used to do that if they only had one eye, and it was the eye opposing their uh, strong side. They'd have to bend their head to the other side to, just to see down the uh, line of their bow. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's true. No, it is. I think they just shoot with the other hand. <laughs> you can't. Sh- it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. You don't just be- get a strong hand because you lose one eye. It's not kingdom death, then. <laughs> oh. oh fuck! That's right. <laughs> oh no, the red one. I keep forgetting about the red one. I'm actually kind of excited to do a little play of Dark Souls three. Is it is it like sort of like sort of excited that a masochist gets before he sees that he's about to get hit by fourteen wheeler, or is it kind of like the excited that uh, a serial killer gets when he sees that the uh, the family has locked up the house, the parents have gone to bed. Man, that children. game is great. I think you guys are. Uh, yeah, you know, what, uh, what are you doing? Oh, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Oh god, yes. I see. I did this on the way back because I was like, "Oh my fucking god!" I was just station. guaranteeing it. I was like, "I'm not." Because remember when we um, I don't know which which video it was, but uh, Wh- where are you going? We're in Liam Leois. You know where the fuck this is at? Yeah, I know. You know, you know what the fuck we about? It's a Liam Leois, son. 
But so one of the best DLCs in Dark Souls history, son. Yeah, we kind of established that. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Nothing can beat reindeer hell. <laughs> nothing can beat rain. No, I. If someone I'm told actually, me they I'm, beat that on their own, they are a liar. Yeah, someone's like, you actually, can I, see it. I you know, can see I the blood this. stains. <laughs> you can't. Those, those dark spots aren't shadowing a rocks. It's actually blood stains. A lot of people getting fucking gank killed by reindeers. Remember one of our first videos? Oh, these aren't though. <laughs> these aren't though. Look at that. Like a nice little like plateau out there. It's, what the hell is that? It's like a plateau. So uh, a lot of people Weird. theorize that Irithyll is Liam Moist overlapping on Orlando because space is converging. I, I hate, I hate, this is why I'm, <clears throat> the reason why I'm so done with fucking Dark Souls. Is a lot of people theorize that Gwen's penis is actually seven inches long, even though he's perhaps larger in person. Hmm. Many people theorize that Seath is actually naked because he's the only dragon that's circumcised. I wonder um, it, when Vadividia has sex, does he like? Does he have that voice the entire time he's fucking? He's like, yes. Mm, you think he's putting indeed. on like a front? You think he's sn like taking a bunch of barium before yeah. he fucking t starts talking because no one can have a voice that calm? He has the calmest voice ever. If I if I was ever stabbed by somebody and he, somebody had a whisper in my ears as I was bleeding out, I wanted to be him. And as your eyes close once more on the world around you, the light falls from your eyes but goes to a different soul to start the cycle again. This is what Gwyn was doing when he farted when he meant to poop. That's why you have to seek the throne. Because it's the only toilet in all of Dringlea. You know that every time you sit on that throne you're actually sitting on the accumulated farts of every king that came before you? There so was no kings that came before you. It's the only untouched toilet. Remember, you can't only barbarians sit on toilets that other people have sat on. That explains a lot about why there's poop throughout my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe. I don't. I would believe it too. Fucking disgusting ass motherfuckers. God. Every time I come here to set up, you know, it's another reason why I'm so happy these videos are done is I don't have to fucking come here to record videos any goddamn more. Because every time I do, I gotta put my laptop on the table full of shit and just push all the shit off the table. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll come over. Why are there ghosts in this forest? I'll no one's record, ever talked I'll about I'll record them. videos with you guys. They're not ghosts. They're not ghosts. They're invisible thieves. It's <laughs> <laughs> so or, much easier to explain. Or, or as I like to call them, Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, topical. Topical for the last 300 years. <sighs> topical. 200 years. Topical, baby. Stop trying to make your statement. I'm trying to figure out the accuracy of the... Why are these ones not invisible? It's because they're, they're not different thieves, people, Ben. Man. It's Fuck. not thieves. You know, Calvin doesn't do this shit. Fucking Bir Bird Ben doesn't do shit. Bird Ben is literally ben, right there. He's yeah. been staring. He's been giving me the death eyes all this time. I'm the like thinking, Bird you got a problem, like man? this, not, not like that. Look, he's I'm, not staring at you. He's staring at me. Look, I'm just he's saying, just as soon as I... As soon as I started posting videos of Ben 2.0, we got three subscribers. I'm just <laughs> saying... I don't want to say we should kick Ben out. I'm just saying we should consider it for the health of this channel. I think we should eat Ben. We should eat Ben. No, we actually, should we should have. I don't know, dude. I think if Ben, like Ben's lifestyle, his meat would be just like greasy. Like it would just burst into flames. It's like a bag of potato chips. Look at, that, look at those dodging skills. You don't want to eat it, but you just kind of feel like you have to because you bought it. You spent. You know what? Come on, it. actually. So do you have the balls to go and fight the two pursuers? No, he runs past that shit. Oh, dude, fuck that shit. I love the pursuer. Even though oh, we got pretty good at parry him, but. That's one thing I should have done. I wish I went back and fought him. When we walked into that chamber, there was banners hanging from the ceiling, and they had something on them. I kind of want to look at them. All right. We can go back and look at that. But yeah, and uh, fuck it. We were already running past and shit. Last time I ever have to come through this fucking shitty-ass, boring-ass, castle-ass place. Yep. Too place. many right angles. I swear to shit. Look at this place. It looks like the fucking... I just hate how, like, it's the... the oh, no. The... The brickwork pisses me off. It's like the prototyped basement in a new house. They keep everything clean so you could sell it for $20,000 more overpriced. Oh. oh. Look, Ma, no, don't we fight this guy a lot? Uh, I think I remember later. fighting him once. I don't know if I recorded it. No, yeah, no, we, but this guy keep, keeps invading in this area because he likes uh, shutting people down who are about to win the game. I don't think, it's, I don't think that's... Th that's the best... That is the best way to play these games, is to invade in the final area to shut down people trying to fight Ooh, the final boss. that was kind of scary how he was, like, zoomed up there. Ben, you said that super seriously, no, 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 but that no. was, like, the biggest dick statement. He's got, he's got, I think he's got both rings. Yeah, he's got the invisibility stuff. I think it's even more impressive that he has, um... The ring of don't die? No, 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 that he has blue flames around his character, which oh, means... Oh, yeah. Which means, not only did he win in the arena... He won in the Arbiter Arena, which I myself have never 
gotten one game in. Yeah, he's not only won in the Arbiter Arena, where I, yeah, I've never gotten into the Arbiter Arena before. I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah, I mean, they, it's the opposing form. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what it is. Yeah, but, I know, I know, but like. Yeah, I watched this motherfucker, but he had done up. Yeah. And he has two invisible weapons, and he's wearing a full plate. Full Katarina. And he's isn't, isn't that that's DLC armor, too? Katarina's uh, DLC? Yeah, yeah, yeah you get it in Broom Tower. Yeah. And you actually get it in Broom Tower behind two hidden walls. Broom Tower and not the whole thing. You get the different pieces from each of the DLCs. No, you don't. You get it all in Broom Tower. No, no, you get... Remember, you find the helm in the, uh, in, um, the sunken, uh, in, the, you know, the Dragon Shrine. Good thing I have self Not the now. dragon shrine, wow, but you know, you know what I mean. The second city. Whoa, what did he just second do? Wrath of the gods or force? Yeah, it was force. No, no, not that. He then didn't move and you took damage. Sorry, I'm on my phone right now like a teenage girl at her father's funeral. That's oh really my dark. God. I can't believe he's pretending still. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got invisible Avelyn. And I still fucked him up. Holy shit, you killed a total badass. He's nuts. I don't understand why Hand is censored in this game. I swear to God, it has to Dan be Dan of the Red Hand. Dan of the Red... Blah! Dan of the Red Fuck. All right, let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. Stabs. Oh, I, I hold on. Whoa, what the fuck? That guy's okay. got a lot of fun. Rare drop from the NPC Dark Spirit Katarina Knight and Force Fallen Giants New Game Plus. What? Helm is in one of the five chests. Oh, man, you're right. Yep. You are right. See? Yep. Oh, you got me. Yeah, man. Cheers. Sam's right again. Yeah, no, let's not get let's not get carried away. Mm. Shit, boy. Mm -hmm. Fuck, boy. But it is it is an, it is an armor set that is spread out across all three DLCs. So that guy's a fucking badass. I don't think he's a badass, but it, you know it definitely shows that he's done his work. Yeah, he's certainly. Even though I whooped his ass, son. That's right. You got outdone. You got outplayed. He put in the time. Yeah, it's, it's like being a, a prisoner. To get whipped. It's like being a prisoner in a fist fight. It's like, yeah, you you were probably a badass, but I you know it's really yeah, funny. Baki's great. You know what's really <laughs> funny though? I love how um, <laughs> I'm trying to evade you or some shit. Yeah. But I love how uh, I don't know because you're. I think your bosses are all dead. Right? No, no, yeah, no, my bosses are all dead. Oh, no, then point. I'm fucked. I can't invade you. No, no, you're not trying to invade me. You're just trying to invade the guy that you just fought because you're like, I can be invaded. So, no, logically, well, I should be I, I, I don't know why I probably didn't think that, but like, I know that now. It's like, as soon as a boss is dead, you can't be invaded. You can still invade, but once your boss is dead, you can't be invaded anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's a normal Dark Souls. Rule. But no, your soul memory is way too high at this point. I mean, if that's the, if that was the case, it shouldn't be made. I mean, at some point, most people don't care about soul memory, especially in the game this late. Uh, what was I trying to say at this point? Oh, yeah, we, we did this whole Let's Play for this ring, right? Yeah. You know, I uninstalled this game right after I got the ring and never even used it. You son of a bitch! I was like, yeah, because right. it was like, oh, like, yeah, this is pretty cool, but... Shut up, you're turning into a fairy right now. You know what would be better? Are you holding... Ben, okay, I'm not going to say shit. I'm not going to say anything except you said that with a box cutter in your hand looking at Dylan's face and he's just like if you don't shut the fuck up I'll I'll turn you into hamburger you piece of shit <laughs> he tried I'll to replace you. me I'll have to replace him first it'll be two juice and a Dylan 2.0 must eat the blood of Dylan 1.0 it <laughs> become Dylan 3.0 <laughs> two juice and a crow reviews games mistakes are made two juice <laughs> and a corpse review <laughs> This is why I drink. I'm still worried people think we're saying Jew because we're not Jewish or some shit. <laughs> we're Jewish. I really hope no, 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 Shh, no. I want, I want someone. I just to get desperately offended at uh, our our Jewish jokes, and I want them to be like this fucking anti-Semitic bullshit video game culture. And like, well, actually, Sam and Ben are probably the coolest Jews that are in Ohio, and they actually practice what they preach. So you often suck my fucking dick. <laughs> That doesn't save you from making anti-Semitic. You think I give a shit about myself? <laughs> I really want someone to come up in the street like, hey, you hate Jews! And I'd be like, what? <laughs> Let me take my headphones You will out. literally say some of my best friends are Jewish and mean it. <laughs> I can't be racist. Some of my blank friends are blank this culture. I get away with it. I get away with murder. I don't think you can. I, he didn't watch the TV show How to Get Away with Murder, so clearly you can't get away with murder. 
Sam, did the TV you... show how to get away with murder say how to get away with murder? Yeah, yeah. Sam. I think the lot. I think the thing is, it's be white. I think that's the thing. <laughs> no, literally, that is what oh. that show is about. I think. It's like don't be a race that gets persecuted unjustly. Mm. Honestly, I think the way they get away with murder. I'm not going to go too far in this because I don't like this topic. Uh, you have to. You can't have any like relation to the person you kill. Yeah. You yeah. can't. Like, you cannot be their friend. You can't have known them. Has to be a complete fucking stranger. Wow, what the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> Melter Dream armor. You have to go to another state, kill them, hide the body. Actually, probably take the body with you. No, that's a really bad idea. No, no, Ben, Ben. Here, I've already thought about this. I've thought about this intensely. If you feel the urge to kill, just drive to a different state without telling a single person. Go into a public park and wait with a fucking sniper rifle. <laughs> See somebody who's by themselves before and then and within a 30 minute gap of the last person who walked through shoot them and then walk off and then you have fulfilled your you why did she take your oh, shut up because this is fan service baby oh but yes God. we're not gonna let that yes. we're not gonna skip that Sam thank you for that very scary if somebody in a random park in a random part of this country gets killed by a random sniper shot use this video as evidence <laughs> It would be the only evidence that there was. I would love to be in the court where it's like, Let's Player gets fucking arrested by his Let's Play video content. Guess what? Tons of people fall for those very same reasons. Yeah. I just want Shannon to, to like make out with me or something. I don't know. She's my favorite wife. I love, I love, I just love the green. She looks so good in the green, the brown. Looks great. You got the red across the it's belly. It's disturbing though because I'm like, You took off the hood, but you're still an illusion. You just wanted to make me see your hair or something. Like, I'm like, oh, hey. Well, it, would make, well, it, it kind of went her taking off her... Like, when a character changes their appearance, you know that shit just got serious. Just like when uh, freaking, um, you know, she takes off her mask. You know? Oh, yeah, Luke and Till takes off her mask. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 I mean, they nailed that shit. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I was just, like, healing your little health. Or... Uh, no, you weren't. You're putting... I think that was... I think you're putting a buff on. Uh, it would have been on my weapon or my body. I don't so, uh, based on the ten tendency of your last couple of performances, I bet you are going to get killed immediately. No, uh, no. This I... is a pretty good fight, honestly. I like, I like, I would. I don't know. I like this. <clears throat> Let me think real quick. Yeah, no. I think as uh, of, I would maybe include Bloodborne. Of all the ending boss fights or ending areas, I like this one the most. Not because I'm a Dark Souls two fuckboy, but because. I like anything that has like different bosses and I know the other ones have different bosses in, inside their last boss fight but like I mean different bosses that are like completely different from each other not oh like my a god different three version. fucking summon signs I wonder who we're gonna pick yeah not just fucking yeah, just, 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 yeah, not just, Ben Hart it's you go I know who we're picking just shout out to me Sam's cool but we gotta sorry, get Vengarl yeah homeboy Vengarl he's oh. the only character in this entire game that I like absurdly I, in my opinion, I like him. He's the best summon in. in he all is. Of I uh, love if you, character. I'm just gonna spoil it for you right now. If you get Ben Hart, Ben Hart versus Vingarl, Ben Hart dies so f much faster. Vingarl is such a better summon stat wise. Uh, Vingarl is in the DLC for Liam Lewis in the Reindeer Land. He's very good because he's tanky as shit. He doesn't have a really good. Um, what are you doing? Move set. Uh, he, well, he's got a decent move set if you can get him to. I've, apparently, you oh, can make Sam him turn him. himself into a fucking jar. I'm so helpful today, guys. I'm ready. I'm ready for this final boss fight. So I thought. Mm. But yeah. But little did you suspect you're fucking terrible at the game and at everything. <laughs> little did I suspect no, no, I'm the worst at everything. I, no, I forgot an important detail. I remember why I died too. I think yeah, it was only you and I should have summoned. No, because the fight would have gone for fucking ever. Oh god! So, and especially since we have to go through all three, ladies and gentlemen, you get to see a boss rush today. Boss rush, baby. Boss rush, baby. Don't watch the defender. The two most nothing dudes. You know what? Wait, wait. wait. I, th I think I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a, g a girl, but it's actually a guy. Yeah. Like they make it very. Feminine. Oh look, he's got the best shield in the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And they just watch Venger all fucking with a hit. Yeah. I'm just over here like, excuse me. Yeah, I, I ate so much damage in this fight. I was really afraid I was going to die constantly. I forget, in Dark Souls 2, can you heal when you're summoned? Can you use Estus? Uh, I don't remember. How could you two not remember? You've been through the game eight times. No, I think you can just use I don't remember the... Something. I don't remember if you can or not. Yeah, uh, eight times. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's been a while, though. 
at this point. But anyway, so, uh, no, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm rolling and doing stuff. I'm like, I really don't want to die. Jesus Christ. I'm so getting, I, much damage. I've had to heal myself up, like, so much now, and I haven't done any damage to any of these people. Here, here goes Sam's health bar. No, oh, yeah, I just saw myself taking Estus. All right, we're good. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, you weren't exposed. You totally weren't exposed just now. As a liar, a cheat, and a fraud. Oh, it's weird. Funny. I always like the Throne Thunder armor most because it has Tali. It has, like, fucking, uh, it's got the, the raiment. It's got the... Oh, the, the little the, Shaw thing? Yeah, yeah. I, I like the Throne Watcher Defender because I like that white and the slim figure. Honestly, yeah, my original plan was to wear that when I go into a fight just because, just so people know. Just so people can be like, oh, what the fuck is this dude? Like the Viking Green Axe. Blinding Bolt is just, there you go. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Yeah, it's, always, it's always a guaranteed two hit if they stand still. Yeah, I love yeah, this. I actually like this fight because you have to kill have both people basically simultaneously because otherwise they'll revive each other. Yeah. I like to think they have some sort of really weird really relationship with each other, but. Uh, well, I mean, they've been standing here for an eternity. I really. Well, I think the Throne Watcher is a way dumber idea than the Throne Defender. Why? Well, no. Because it's like the Throne Defender. Oh my god, I almost died. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, they sh I think she. You might, nope, you almost did die. Holy fuck. Yeah, Throne Watcher's down. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Oh, oh. That's a really cool pose, that guy, though. Yeah, yeah, with his finger kind of uh, stretched out to you, pointing. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, right. Here he goes again. He's trying to run. He's trying to run to get her. Oh, he's trying to get you instead. Yeah, no. And you kill both, and they both die at the It same is time. a really good tactic, though, to take out one very, um... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> very squish, I, do I like how, like how the uh, sound pops up, but, um... Wait, I am wearing the mask, so I wonder what... Okay. Anyway. You probably changed it because you're weird like that. No, nah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, because I knew this one was coming. Oh, wait, oh here it comes. It the worst boss in the whole Soul series. Do you think that? Uh, uh, it's the easiest final boss of any of them. It might be, yeah. But I mean, like, th those orbs do some fucking damage, though. Yeah, but just consider that in the original before the DLC, this was the final boss. And yeah, she doesn't that is, really. That she has pretty. no connection but to the plot. But cool, she's cool, though. She's cool looking, but she has very little connection to the plot. She's just some... She's just some bitch. She literally was just waiting for... I don't know, I like her. Also, uh, this is the opening that you only get to see once. Because after this, she go, she reaches her hands up to the sky and is like, Alright, you ready for this So, fight? something I only just now fucking reason. I like her. I don't know what you guys are talking about, dude. I know, I like her design. She looks weird. She's got Zazamel She looks side. like Aldrich. Zazamel being my favorite character in Soul Calibur. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I was just like... Yeah, I was like, like I'm, yeah. doing, I'm doing the same thing. Yep, because you know. You know that this bitch has some has some gimmicks. I don't think she's that. I don't know. I think you guys are. I, don't, I like her. I mean, I like her. No, 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 no. Just, I don't like her. Just I like her. You never played the game, and you've never played Zazamel, so fuck you, Doug. So <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Ben. No, I remember uh, like a lot about the stuff about this fight. Uh, I was just like, ah, here we go, the uh, the warm up. And there's my favorite weapon, and I put lightning on it because I switched my build at this point because I learned my lesson. Vengeance is taking hits. Yeah, Vengar just stands there. Vengar takes just so much. I just like, oh no, like we're we're skirts. It's got skeletons reaching out and shit. Yeah, and it's I, I don't. She's got like the fucking predator drone. There goes the predator fucking dreadlocks. No, it just, only just dawned on me. She has a lot in common with Aldrich, and Nido. I wonder if that's Lipper or Nido. Yeah, wow, we are just ch chewing through this motherfucker. Well, everyone does. Her, her physical attacks aren't the heart. Those orbs are the ones that fuck you up. Yeah. They right. curse you, which takes down your permanent health. And then, yeah. They also take... Uh, oh, my damage. God! Sam, did you just get killed by the worst boss in the Soul series? Yeah, because I didn't get far enough. Because I. She's not the worst boss in the Soul series. I know! Don't worry, Dylan. The Covenant Demon's the worst boss of anything. Yeah, that's anyway, pretty bad. Be careful from... I think you're close to... No, the ledge is over there. I'm on. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so... No, yeah. I, I wasn't able to get... I had my back to the ledge. Wasn't able to roll out of her uh, AoE. And, and it did. leave me to get fucked. Well, I did more damage than I was expecting. I was like, I can take this. I, I can for, take this. I've got a game plus four craziness. 2,500 damage in one shot. I'm like, what the fuck? Alright, the one thing that is really cool is she has the glowing hand. Yeah. I wish the final boss of Dark Souls 3 had the glowing hand. Because that is... He does. He has the pyromancy for him. Mm -hmm. I don't think it shows up, actually. No, it, it uh... Well, it, it's very slight, because his rest of his body's on fire anyway. But you know what I mean. Yeah. But no, like, that's actually really cool. It links back to the third picnic. But no, I'm, as I'm looking at this boss fight... I mean, she's not even good for a normal game's final boss. 
his her move set so limited predictable yeah I don't know I think it's only because that we're, we're really good that we are and that yeah. should that should actually fuck kill you that will kill you in one shot yeah uh, and if, okay, if I want to be honest, right now when I when I died at that uh-huh. moment, okay. I was like, I really hope you lose to this to, to, to the character, so I can just redeem myself because I was I was so mad. But like, it's never final. going to happen. No, no, because it's it's very difficult to die to this character unless you get pinned against the fucking uh, the side with her one shot is to kill bullshit move. Oh wait, by the way, by the way, I love how you're shooting her with her own bow. Yeah, it's pretty good. The bow of one. Yeah. I, I like her. Yeah. I, no, no, I'm not saying I don't like her. I just don't like her as a boss. I mean, I like her design. <laughs> no, 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 maybe, 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 like, not as a final boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if this was, like, a low-tier boss or something like that, or, like, uh, Actually, boss. a high-tier boss. She looks like a high-tier boss. She just doesn't look like the final boss. Nice dodge, by the way. I what, saw uh, the fucking psych code through you. What, um, what am I trying to say? Um, you know who uh, one of my favorite bosses were? Why did you screenshot there? Because it looked really cool. It did look pretty fucking cool. Uh... The uh, sucking, the sucking queen. Yeah. Okay. And well, she's... that boss fight's my Whoa! favorite. Oh! How are you shooting those big ass? Oh, is that the special move? Is that you get yeah. lightning bolts? Okay, that's cool. You get lightning, lightning infused lightning arrows. Oh, I love that. I love how she dies in a manner in which someone that got just got shot in the heart. You can still see the arrow, and she holds her hands up. Just, it's, yeah, there's a lot of little bits and pieces here that I do like. It's not, it's not too, too bad, but not too, too good. It's really easy. <laughs> you son of a bitch! That was the cheapest mask I could have launched off the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon poison arrows come to flame. Slumbers fail of ice. Yeah. It's weird because it's fucking love you, Aldia. Aldia's great because right now he's speaking with the voice of Nishan to lay it on top of his voice. Just. Give us your. That is so cool! Yeah. You ask questions. I like it's that. It's so cool. Like, you know, you know you have time before he shows up. You're like, okay, take that off, put something. Well, I more. know that after you beat him, well, I'm, I would have time, but still. Yeah, no. You... Now you face me, a giant head. Yeah. <laughs> giant tree. This is such an interesting boss fight. But it's actually really hard. It. Uh, well, yeah, you're not wrong. Because of all this insanity. This is bullet hell. It's not even the bullet hell. It's like, because it's when he pops up and you run to hit him, you only have like two to three hits before that flame pops up and he's got a defense around him. See? He's okay. You can hit him. Nope. Fuck you. I just, you know what? I, I, I'll, I'll say it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love the fact that Aldia is just a living bonfire and he has come here to kick your fucking ass knowing that you, if you die, you'll come back to fight him again. Yeah. It's so intense. It's you like, come back to him. Yeah. It's like, so you, you respond and you wake up at one bonfire and he's like the reverse and I would have killed your ass. But no, it's like, he's like, this is the bonfire you come to look die that, at. Look at that fire damage. This is the bonfire you come to die at. I love that shit. I should have taken that Estus. Yeah, well, you, you go, didn't... Go, 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 go! Oh, fuck that. you! Oh, god. Yeah, go I can on. already... Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. And, and he takes less damage, too. That's weird. So it makes you deal with this shit. You know, it's it's interesting when you look at a lot of uh, old Judaic te- like bits and pieces of old mythology and stuff, and you're always looking at, like, uh... The facts of when when, when a, like God exists in a, like a location, you can tell because things that shouldn't exist together do. Because are you like, talking about how Aldi is a burning bush? Yes, I'm literally about to. I was literally about to jump into that thing. He's literally wood that will not burn, that produces fire. In fact, which is an. Why did you do that? For me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't think that it would. Um. You didn't put the Elizabeth, track. Yeah, you didn't put the Elizabeth mushrooms on you. On there you go. See, there it goes. Yeah, and you're like, how? You have items. 58 Elizabeth mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. They don't do it. They're not as powerful in this game as they were in Dark Souls uh, one. one. Yeah. Dark Souls one. It was like full heal plus uh, plus increased heal. Yeah, I think I got hit by this thing actually. Oh fuck. Oh no. I almost fell off the edge. That would. Be... Jesus Christ! Stop charging, shithead. And you're just back to the bow now, huh? Yeah, but you gotta do some damage somehow. Yeah, right. Yeah, you, you gotta rack it up somehow, and there's every little bit helps against uh, this boss fight. Though no, this guy's kind of chump change when you get the summon in the room. But I uh, like. This. Yeah, I mean, it's not too too hard, but still, like if you fuck up, you, you know, if you let that hit you, you're fucking done. Well, that that move. Look at that guy. That guy knows what's up. He knows what's up. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Fuck! 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 No! Oh! Oh, shit. Oh. Holy fuck. Oh my god. That almost made me sober. 
Okay, I think that's the truest evidence that like you have way more health than me at this point. It's at 40. I don't know why. I'm, I'm at the I'm at the fucking soft cap. All right. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Maybe I put too much into lightning or something, or maybe my arm. Maybe you suck. How many times? Did you... <laughs> Just silence. Silence as we accept the quiet truths of this world. Hey man, I mean, I, I do. scholar of the first. Uh, it's funny because the only the only person I ever had trouble fighting with in uh, Dark Souls Two was Dylan. So. so is this Velka? <laughs> <laughs> That's always a joke. That's always been something to throw people around on the Dark Souls Discord. Man, this guy's got a lot of a lot of health and a lot of damage resist. It's, it's and, only yeah, I should have tried him there. It's it's wood from fire. That's so fucking weird. Think about where how wood exists in the uh, Dark Souls damn. universe. Where it's like, uh, before fire, there was wood. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's already been done with the, uh, fucking, what's it called? The fucking Bed of Chaos. Yeah, boom, true. Boom, so, dodge, oh, dodge dodge away, dodge away. There we go. Interesting question, Ben. Uh, Aldia in the Bed of Chaos. Relation? Uh, kind of. It seems more like wood and fire get linked with the curse itself. Uh, like, when you look at Dark Souls 3 and a lot of the motifs going through that, wood is like sort of becomes tantamount with dark it's kind of weird hollow wings has this like tree motif going on with it yeah you're right oh missed so uh we kind of talked about it a few episodes ago but what's your opinion on the lie on the lie yeah uh i've done a lot of thought and research on that there's like a couple of schools of thought i was about to explode they do, this is the second phase. The fire intensifies. Okay. And he gets faster. Yeah, he gets much faster. It's kind of like the remix version of uh, Aldia for the second phase. But it is kind of like he has a burning aura now, so it is, it is a little bit more similar to this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he starts doing that shit. Why is, given the dialogue he has and Vendrick has and some of the stuff from Dark Souls 3, the lie is probably that uh, humanity is innate to humans. That uh, the thing you lose by turning undead and going hollow is something that is lost and not something that was temporary. Oh no! Oh jeez! Wow! Oh, I got really wow. lucky. Did that you see my character model move? Yes. Yeah. That was invincibility ability frames out the ass. Right? I don't think it was invincibility frames. It was, it was like he was his model was coming into the world and yeah. it, it moved me. Well, I, I see. I thought it was your adaptability was high enough that it was like you could just adaptability only comes into play when you start rolling. You were rolling, man. Not, not when I when I when I started like putting the lightning blade on my spear, and you saw my character model bump, right? Yeah, yeah. that's all I was talking about. All right, so real quick, then uh, mm -hmm. finish up what you were saying. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Uh, like it's the it's the same thing that the riddle is in Dark Souls Three. Mm -hmm. It's like show your humanity. Humanity is an illusion. Oh uh, yes, because the natural state of humans is hardification. Yes, but before the flame. And it's very Buddhistic. It's the idea that things that can be lost are merely transitory. And Aldia talks about that a lot. Yeah, he does. And that's why he calls you Young Hollow. Oh, wait for it, guys. Because in his mind, all undead go hollow. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you did Great Heal. And that's why I think Wondor is the main city. You, you think Rock? Yeah, you think Wondor is I also think that. Please, 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 please. Eat okay. the mushroom. I'm this. Bloop. Ring a little bell. Ding, 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 ding. The fight begins now. It's been going on. I swear to fucking God, if you die here. No, 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 no I can. Final boss, Dark Souls 2. I'm a giant burning Andros. <laughs> Remember, let me just say, though. Ooh, get him. Here, get him. Get his and ass. And get boop. There we go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, how did you do this? I intended for you to do this. Oh, oh dear. That's my name. Nope. <laughs> what do you want truly? Is like just big anime titties. <laughs> Something else entirely. Some big ass, some thick ass anime okay, titties. Okay, so when I played this game. Thick. So when I first played the game, I walked off the ledge just to see what would happen. What happened? You, uh, you get respond right back there, don't you? I get respond, yeah, and, and you you have to make the decision. And if you just walk off the ledge, you go back to the bonfire, re-enter the boss chamber, and you have to still make the decision. So you walk through it, and then you have to turn around and walk away. Which I do like that. That's my favorite line in the entire series. Yeah. 
Like, I like a bunch of things in all the games. That is my favorite line in the whole series. Beyond the scale of time, beyond the reach of time. Beyond the reach of dark. It's a very intellectual thing to say. Like how it's kind of implying he's with you when you, when you whenever you wherever you go with that. Mm -hmm. Favorite fucking. Man. Fucking love this game. Immediately. Could you imagine like just doing all that shit to be groomed to be the next successor and then just walk away from it? Yes. So good. I'm the one that stuck with the the end of the dark, the dark ending and dark. God damn it! I had remembered you're knocking over the masks, and I remember what happens like five minutes from here. When yeah. We're sitting around, Joko. We're like, we're just like going around like whatever, and you're just like. You stand, you're messing around with my fucking practice training, uh, fucking bastard sword. It's smash a light. You smash a light. It's just, right there. We can still see the damage. And we just sit there in just dead silence. And you're like, human, don't produce light. Human, <laughs> <laughs> do not produce light. <laughs> Please. Human, <laughs> do not. Human. Son of a bitch, you never paid for that light. He you did. never fucking, you never told me how much it would cost him or charge you. I would, I would have the credit card. I could have did it. Ben, it doesn't matter anyway. You don't you clean. You could have did it. <laughs> ben, you live on a broken bed. Full of dreams that never came to fruition. Don't talk to me about One shit. Day, someone's going to cut that bed open and they'll be released and everyone will die. And those broken dreams will come out of your bed, come slinking out of your bed, and they'll be slinking, crawling, crawling, yeah, crawling, and they'll be the antagonist of some other dude's anime. <laughs> the antagonist of God damn it! I swear to shit. I always, uh, I always, I, I never knew who Frog. I like this ending so much more than Dark Souls Three ending. Ah, uh, well, sorry. Okay. It's, it's it's difference in opinion. It's difference in opinion. I like anything that gets a little cool little monologue, and they're like, you know, this, this, and that. The other ones like, you light the fire, you sit down. The other ones is some of the fucking. Like Firekeeper, some of the fire. I'm not done talking, Ben. Some of the Firekeeper. She goes, kindled one. Can you kill me? And the other one is you fucking you take the fire and you walk away and everyone's leaning down around you. And what's the other ending? Oh there's, no, there's, there's just sit there's down. four. You just sit down. Four. Endings? Stupid. Like the third three endings. The other one should just walk the fuck away. Yeah. Which I personally, now that I'm at the end of this goddamn series, is probably the best way to do it. Well, okay, so, but in uh, Dark Souls three. Um, the uh, implication of the DLC. I don't like how that you can get to the DLC by going through the other DLC. I wish they just kept the the final DLC right there at the Lord of Cinders path because the implication is the fact that the bonfire is right there and the boss fight is right there is that's the option they give you when you want to walk away. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to walk away from the dark and never fight the Lord of Cinders, that's true. You just go and you find out. You find what end, happens after. Yeah, the end of the world. You just find it's stale. Nothing. It's just fucking nothing. It's just literally. One man, it's the two people at the end of existence, and side ho that's off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. See, I, yeah, I would have liked that a lot more because I wasn't really too happy with the endings as they are too definitive. Yeah, not, when I and then having it having it go off of the first DLC into the the Ring and City DLC from the uh, Painted World of uh, what's his name? Aaron May. Ar or Ar Aaron Dell, rather. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, Aaron Dell. Painted World of Aaron Dell. Then into the Dragon Heap doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh, no, it does. It makes sense in one paradigm that Londor is the Ring City because you have these people who are fleeing, who fled from the uh, Sable Church, right? Yeah. And then you have this bonfire. Where does it take you? The Dragon Heap. Who's the first person you meet? A Londor pilgrim. What do they know that no one else knows? Where the Ring City is. It's almost as if the Ring City is Londor. Yeah. Again, this argument of like 400 people, I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, no. It, it, what it, what it's saying? And I should probably have you for this Dark Souls three Let's Play then. Yeah, you, you You're, I'm just gonna put the microphone in front of Ben. And he's gonna go wee, 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 for like forty minutes. I always get worried. Oh, never mind. Right. But it's, so yeah, no, it's just the thing where it's like, um, yeah, no. That, that's why I told you to pay attention to the mural in in the in the Father Arian Bell boss chamber. Yeah, I told a lot of time to pay attention to that while bitch with the scythe was fucking carving my insides open like a pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You just got it. What what you do is before you trigger the boss fight. Spend that time looking around the boss chamber because that boss chamber does not last the father Aaron. Uh, no, it does not. No, no, it does not. So what you do is you see that boss fight was insane. 
Uh, by the way, if you look down, you can if you read the little uh, text underneath it, it some guy translated it from the original lore. Do you know how he did it? Mm. He got the alphabet off of Tynet's labs in Dark Souls One, and it's the, still the same language. Oh, I think the credits are over. No, nope. oh nope. So original Dark Souls Two, we got these credits too. <laughs> these endings go on for fucking hours. I just remember sitting here after breaking your light. I was like, man, I swear to fucking god, if I don't get this fucking ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we were—I was literally sitting there in anticipation. But oh yeah, and uh, I, we, we missed it. But a young uh, Shannon Watts uh, voice actor showed up, and I was like, "Wow, I wonder what she's done besides that." And I wonder if she's legal now. <laughs> oh no! I'm like, I'm we'll like, say, "Oh no!" <laughs> I was like, "She's, she's 18." Like, You're like, "Oh shit!" She's got such a fucking beautiful voice. I love it. But man, anyway. that's the creepiest thing you've ever said. Ben, yeah. I can't take shit from you right now because you're literally just balling up cheese and putting it into your fucking mouth. So I'm really disgusted with you. Yeah, uh, he's just grummeting right now. He's like, mm, you know, let me, let me pull up this cheese. Yeah, yeah, that's just really good. Grummeting is grummeting is me. Yeah, eat. it's good, but like, I wouldn't eat cheese by itself. Put it on some fucking sandwich bread, you fucking shit. No, no, no. See, when you grummet something, it's like what alchemists used to do. Instead of putting everything into a mixture. Proud of you. Thank you. They just uh, eat each individual piece separately, like eating bread, cheese, meat in this like that you normally put in I, I literally did. I could make sandwiches. I have bread all over it. I hate you so much. <laughs> it's like the time, this it's like a time separated thing. Uh, anyway, but yeah, no, this is the only thing that voice actress of Shannon Water did. The young voice actress. Wonder how she got that king. He's like, hey, hey, kid, wanna be a, wanna be a Dark Souls tool waifu? Right yeah, that's how it usually works out. Someone that they want to be other developers now. Uh, say, hey, kid, you wanna be a Dark Souls 2 waifu? <laughs> Sign me up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that they make a waifu in uh, Shadows Die Twice Shakiro. It's like a boy. Did you hear they have a network test for Shadow Side Quest? Doesn't that mean they have to be online then? Yeah. Yes, it does. So they're bringing online back into it. I thought they said they weren't going to have online in this fucking well, no, game. No, they said they weren't going to have PvP. There's a difference. <sighs> Plus, they could change their mind about the PvP. Well, oh, oh, actually, no. The no. real answer is we don't know that there's going to be a network test. But there was an Activision press release that's like, man, I can't wait for you guys to try out the beta. And five minutes later, that post gets deleted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's uh, great because people weren't looking for it. You know, you know, we gotta get that shit, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, like when we get that shit, we're all gonna like look at our bank accounts and be like, well. I don't have to get full groceries today. I can just spend sixty dollars on a fucking video game for the sake of my YouTube career. I, it's the moment when I realized I could buy a pizza or I could buy this hour-long, super artsy game that everyone talks about, like it's a fucking surreal fever dream. I, 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 what, I'm just, you know what, man? Like after playing two and three, playing the Dark Souls, I'm tired of playing games. Like I'm not doing that anymore. I can't. I hate it. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Bell Keeper of Arkin and the Head of Ingrall, the same voice actor. Wow. Weird. I don't know about that. That's real. That's real neato. That's actually pretty neato. Buta Amira, Sarah Beck, Mother. If you hear this, please uh, look me up. I'll take you on a very nice date. Cromwell, the partner, and Ben Hart of you go same person. I just want. I just want you to fucking speak to me while you beat the shit out of me, <laughs> wearing a mask. Oh yeah. Before I forget, uh, in my mind, all the Dark Souls are connected. You walk away from the flame in Dark Souls One. You walk away from the throne, or you stay in the throne in Dark Souls Two. Doesn't really matter each way. Either which way, if you stay on the throne, you eventually decide to cinder yourself. Or if you walk away from it, eventually someone throws you into the cindering. Personally, I believe it is the uh, King of Kings, Dark Souls 3. Uh, Skeleton Lord. Skeleton Duke. Wolnir? Yeah. Wolnir throws you in the fire. Because you have to sell the crowns. He collects, he has all the crowns by the end of Dark Souls 3. Hmm. So if you have the crowns, he must have met you and must have thrown you into fire to kill you. Yeah, I hate that. I, I wish, I really did wish that one of the Dark Souls, though, uh, one of the bosses that you fight is, like, literally your character from... The previous Souls game. It's all up to the interpretation. Well, no, 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 but what if. Soul what, Cinder is basically that. But what if it literally, like, they know shit loaded your save game with your fucking character, armor, everything, and it, like, they can do that. It's a rare game that does, though. They can do that shit. They can fucking do that. They can, like, alright, alright, well, if you fucking have. Oh, hold on, wait, this is where it's supposed to get good. Oh, wait, hold on. Right. No, that's just... Bandai, now I'm cool, guys. Incorporated. We should end it the video before you find out if you get the ring. You're an asshole, and you're the kind of people that makes YouTube a cancerous wasteland. And... Yeah! yeah! I never wear it. <laughs> Screenshot. Oh!
Oh shit! I know. I put it on. Wait, 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 wait. The best part's about to happen. Come here, come here, come here. What? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. You're like, ha huh, huh. I get to look at it. I get to. You're, you're looking. Someone's at it. inside me. You're just like, wait. I mean, we're just like, no. yeah. <laughs> Now the video can end. Oh, oh my Jesus. God. Oh my fucking Christ. Oh, it feels so good.